Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today what I got here is the GEPRC's GEPHX2. Now they're calling this the Hummingbird. It is the 110 millimeter brushless micro FPV racer. And I got the BNF version here today. Comes with the FR Sky XM Plus receiver. Uh, it also comes in the PNP version as well. Now this came out of the box without the props installed and without the antenna sleeve installed. And let me tell you, first impression I got was this is a solid build quadcopter. Now it has a three millimeter base plate very very tough i can't even bend this thing two millimeter top plate as well as two millimeter side plates holding the micro swift run cam camera up in the front and it is just a solid build now i've done a review on its brother slightly bigger than this one uh, that one was the geprc sparrow and it was a very good uh, build quality as well but the only thing that is missing on this quadcopter was the uh, pre-installed Betaflight OSD and that was the only thing that was the minus on this quadcopter here everything about it was just a solid build quadcopter but this one now comes with pre-installed Betaflight OSD so that is awesome we are given some GemFan 2040 Hulky props and the motors that we are given here are the GEPRC branded motors and it is the GR1106 6000 kV motors and the ESCs are the 4-in-1 BL Holly S12 amp with 15 amp D-shot ESCs and they are able to handle 2 to 3S batteries so we also have the XT30 connector that we're given here uh, which I have zip tied to the hind leg so we are probably going to be using just 3S batteries to uh, test this baby out and the flight controller is the f4 flight controller and the target that uh, I noticed it was the omnibus SD 3.2.1 was pre-installed here now this one does not come with a SD card slot so I guess it doesn't matter if you install the OBSD or just the omnibus uh, firmware now like I said it comes with pre-installed Betaflight OSD so that is a plus and right above it is the VTX and it is a 48 channel 5.8 gigahertz 25 100 to 200 milliwatt switchable VTX and we can see that there is a single button to change the channel the frequency and the power output right on the top uh, single press uh, changes the channel and if you long press it, you go into the frequency mode and another long press, you go into the power output mode and you just single press it to change. Very simple to do. We got a dipole antenna, pretty long dipole antenna. So that is nice. And the XM Plus receiver antennas sleeves were not pre-installed. They came without the sleeves in installed. So you have to cut it yourself and install it. Very nice. Uh, it's got this 3D printed TPU little mount in the back which is very very nice and you push the sleeves in it and put the end caps on it and i just put some heat on it to bend it a little bit so it's not sticking straight up very nice holds the antenna in place very very nice now like i said the camera here is the run cam micro swift it is the 600 tv line 2.1 millimeter ccd sensor camera so it should give us a nice field of view as well as very good quality video and the receiver like i said i've got the xm plus receiver and also it is right in between the 3d printed mount and the stack and it's hunkered in between sideways so it was pretty cool you are able to access the bind button from here so you don't even have to open up the quadcopter like remove the top plate or anything like that so a bind and fly quadcopter right out of the box and everything else was just perfect right out of the box the only thing that uh, you needed to do was install the velcro strap that came in the box as well as the battery pad it is a non-sleep battery pad it's got this cut out just like the bottom of the carbon fiber frame so just unpeel it and stick it on there and you are good to go 
All right, so let's check out what else we got in the box. This is the box that it came in. Very nice, small little box. And the quadcopter was packed in right on the top here without the props, of course. And we got a separate compartment on the bottom. There's the, um, the battery pad that was there and that little piece that came off of it. And this is the remaining of the um, antenna sleeves that I cut off. So that came in that little bag there and we got some allen wrenches here and an extra battery strap so we were given two battery straps and here are the props that we are given and that is just about it that we got here so we are given two bags of these hockey props and i thought there were just one set inside of each bag but there's actually eight props in each bag so we are given 16 props so we got a full four sets of these hockey props so that is just awesome so that is everything that came in the box all right so we are ready to test fly this baby here so uh, what i'm going to be using is these right here the 350 30 c three cell battery as well as the gmb uh, 350 three cell battery uh, these are a little bit more higher c ratings and also i also have the 550 uh, gmb 80 c batteries as well so let's go for a little test flight with the GPRC's hummingbird all right we are just about ready to go with the hummingbird everything is connected and we got some colored led lights in the back it's yeah, doing some LED light dance at the moment. So that is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oop, have my throttle up here. There you go. And we are good to go. Starting to get a little bit breezy. But I think uh, this hummingbird should hum its way right through this wind no problem check it out now when I took this quadcopter out of the box one of the things that I noticed was the midsection the body section of the quadcopter is rather unproportional to the arm length so I was thinking oh man maybe they could have gone with a little bit longer arms and a little bit bigger prop like two and a half inch prop but I think what they were going for here is uh, the nimble part of a quadcopter. So it's that's why they're calling it the hummingbird. Seems to be very nimble here. Yeah, nice tight turns already. Looking pretty good. Let's do a little punch out here. Okay, I got a 350 milliamp gmb battery on here so one more time pretty decent amount of power with the 3s not bad and we got programmable led lights in the back so they're just flashing away i'm not sure if they're directional looks like they're directional but you can't really tell which way it's going it's just lighting up up and down and it's just doing all kinds of dances all right, so far so good. Let me try some acro flips here. Get used to this feel in acro mode. Yeah, feels pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a very nimble quadcopter. Yeah, like the name suggests, it is a hummingbird and it is just humming. Okay, the battery is just about done. So let's go ahead and bring it down. And there you go. That is the flight time. All right, here we go with our first FPV flight with the GEPRC's Hummingbird. And we have a 550 milliamp size battery. So let's go ahead and check it out. The video quality is looking pretty nice so far. So let's go ahead and check it out. Whoa, there's some uh, static interference upon throttle up. So that is not good. 
but it is feeling very nimble and pretty smooth. Pretty nice, running Betaflight defaults here. And on 3S, it is doing all right. Man, I wonder what that uh, interference is. Two. It should, shouldn't have that kind of lines. And it is sucking up this battery like, really quick. Alright, not that bad at all. First impressions, it's got enough power and it is very nimble, but it does suck up that juice. And I do have to throttle up about 60 to 70 percent to just cruise. So it does require a lot of power. This one is already down to 10 and a half. One. It's almost time to land and it's giving me a one minute warning. So I've been flying for two minutes now. So yeah, you don't get a very long flight time with this one here unless you're just cruising. So if you do a lot of punches, it sucks up the juice rather quickly. But man, it handles like a dream, this one. 30. Right out of the box, like its brother. I was really impressed with the GPRC Sparrow. Right out of the box, I thought it was one of the best quadcopters 20. there was, right out of the box. And this one is just about doing the same impression here. The only thing is that horizontal lines 10, that is appearing 9, on 8, the video feed. 7, yeah, what is 6, that interference? 5, 4, Okay, three, two, I have put in three one. minutes of flight with the 550 milliamp size battery. Pretty decent. Very smooth, very nimble. Yep, easy to control. But you do gotta throttle up a little bit because of those smaller props. Okay, let's bring it in for a landing. All right, there we have it, guys. Our first FPV flight with the GEPRC's HX2, the Hummingbird. All right, here we go with another FPV flight with the GEPRC's Hummingbird. I have one of those uh, 30C 3S batteries. So let's go ahead and check that one out and see how it performs. All right. Yep, still giving me that static. Yeah, it doesn't give you a very good amount of flight time, does it? It's already down to 10.4. So this one here sucks up the battery. You need a slightly bigger size battery like that 550 milliamp. So the 350 milliamps are suffering here, especially this one with the 30C. There, I induced a little bit of prop wash there. So you're not able to really punch it with this kind of battery, so not the very best kind of batteries to use for this quadcopter. So you need a little bit more premium quality battery for this guy here. Alright, so we're just floating around that 10 and a half and I can only cruise and I can't really punch it with this battery here. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring it in. Uh, slightly over one minute and it is already kind of suffering already all right but what is that static let's go ahead and bring it in 
Man, that camera angle is pretty high. There we go. All right, that was our second flight with the GEPRC's Hummingbird. All right, just got done checking out the GEPRC's Hummingbird, the two inch micro brushless FPV racer. Uh, it did pretty good, I really liked it. Uh, it handles very well, very nimble. It's got enough power with these two inch props. Uh, you just gotta throttle up a little bit. It does suck up the juice uh, rather quickly. And the build quality on this thing is just awesome. Very, very solid. The FPV camera is just awesome. The Runcam Micro Swift, very clear, very vivid, and the field of view is just excellent. And I've flown it with the 350 GNB for the line of sight. Gave me about two minutes of flight time and our first FPV flight was with this 550 GMB uh, gave me about three minutes of flight time two minutes of okay punching and another minute of just cruising and with this uh, 350 30c battery generic SPC maker battery uh, 3s uh, it gave me about a little over a minute I wasn't able to do any punches with this one so this baby here sucks up the juice a lot and uh, it flies good though however uh, but it does need a pretty decent sized battery you can't put a too big of a battery look at the 550 milliamp it just yeah engulfs the bottom of the quadcopter so that's just about the biggest size battery you want to put on this thing i don't know if you can put a 650 that will be kind of oversizing the quadcopter a little bit but then again you know these props got to work just as hard so you got to really throttle up to uh, carry that weight the only problem that i have with this quadcopter was the video feed gave me a lot of disturbance a lot of static a lot of horizontal lines as i was throttling up so there's some kind of filtering problem here uh, the vtx antenna is attached very well everything is good but there's some kind of noise coming through and that is one of the things that some some of you might not like you want a very clear FPV quality even though you throttling up so this has a little bit of issue with that other than that it is just an excellent little quadcopter nice build nice quality camera like I said and it's very maneuverable and yeah it's just awesome and the build quality is just great I cannot even bend this thing so just an awesome little quadcopter minus the fact that the VTX feed does have interference all right so that is my initial review of the GEPRC's Hummingbird the HX2 thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time
creative imagination began to become a new art form.